What is the local option sales and service tax? The League of Women Voters hosted an event last night to help the public understand just that. This program is to explain the use of the local option sales and service tax. It's um, going to be continued, we hope. The final vote on this comes by December 25. It goes into effect January 1st, 2026. So each community that has the loss tax has a variety of uses, and we've asked each of the panelists to, to uh, comment on that. It's not actually a new tax. It's a tax that has been in effect for some time, but it is coming up for renewal. The local option sales tax is something that we've had for 10 years. That 10-year period is up in 20, January 2026, so we'd like to have that discussed and settled, and therefore we're voting on it in September, um, and then we'll be done with it by the time January 2026 comes. The loss tax is important to the city and the surrounding parts of the county as a way to make improvements to streets and services. However, the city is suggesting a change to the way that money is allocated. Uh, what we would like to do is change that allocation to 30% to property tax relief and 70% to streets and sewers. Uh, so, uh, why is the additional amount needed in the general fund? Well, Brian had mentioned uh, uh, House File 718. What 718 does is it says that you have all these different levies that you can levy property for property tax, but we're going to take those and we're going to crunch them all down into um, what our cap is, that 810 limit. The, the legislature came in and says, some of these additional levies we're not going to let you have anymore. Well, we had three of those. We had um, the emergency levy, which if you're at the 810, which we are, you could levy for that for an additional 27 cents. That goes away. We had 13 cents per thousand that was allocated to the uh, uh, Bridgeview Center. That goes away. The one that really sticks in my craw a little bit is that the people of Ottumwa voted a 27 cent levy upon themselves to support the library. And the legislature says, we're going to get rid of that. Former Mayor Tom Lazio is in support of the tax and the proposed changes. Well, I think it's really important for the uh, city and the county. Um, you know, with our combined uh, general levy now, with the, the, the levies being consolidated, uh, I think it's really important that we um, pass this and uh, support the city with this. Uh, it, it brings in over four and a half million dollars a year and um, if we don't do have that money we're going to have to end up probably cutting some services or at least make some adjustments. You know the city staff have looked at it and tried to come up with what will be the best for the city operations and uh, you know we have a, a great finance director who is uh, really doing a lot to help educate our council to what's important and um, you know, the new split, the 70-30 would be a, a change, but it certainly would help the city in the long run to have that kind of freedom to use those funds for whatever purposes they need. However, some think the changes to that allocation might not be the best idea, given the state of the streets within the city. Well, I didn't appreciate the way the council approved switching it from 90-10 to 70-30. I think that uh, those monies that go into the general fund uh, kind of get lost sometimes, don't always get directed to what they should be directed to, and I certainly don't think we've got more money than we need to fix streets. In fact, we haven't been fixing streets very well at all since I've been on the council, and I think uh, I'm going to put a little more heat on the uh, people that have controls and try to get some more support. Uh, I, don't, I don't like this blowing gravel around, spraying a little tar and put the, the pea gravel down. I don't think that's a good fix. It may be a temporary fix, but it's not a good fix. I think uh, our loss tax, in my opinion at least, needs to be denied or turned down this time 
we need to take it back and talk about where the 90-10 could come back. Or I would arbitrate that a little bit, like 85-15, but, but not 70-30. I just don't believe that's the right way to go. To learn more about the lost tax, follow the link below in this story to watch the entire public forum on the tax. For Tummer Radio, I'm Carl Davis.